Hello and welcome! My name is Luigi from Bluestacks and today I'll talk about a brand new gacha game just released on the market. Based on the very successful Netflix anime series Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, is a brand new game adaptation faithful to the original series. It brings the events of the show to life on your computer screen in high resolution 3D goodness, thanks to Bluesex. This is a gacha game, that means that a lot of your time and resources will be spent on summoning heroes that you can add to your own team. In today's video, I've gathered some tips and tricks for you to get started with the right food. So without any further ado, let's start with the combat system. This game is a little bit different from those turn-based RPGs that we are so used to play. Seven Deadly Sins offers a card-based battle mechanics where every action you can perform comes in the form of a card that are drawn every turn. Instead of choosing from a list of preset commands, the cards themselves are picked randomly from a list that is specific to each character. And each character brings different attacks with unique properties and damage types. So, as you can see, these moves are not only limited to damage in the enemy, and there's different types of cards which in each turn determine their effects on the battlefield. Every turn, you get a variety of cards that you can set up in the field for you to unleash a series of attacks. You can set one card per character every turn, up to a maximum of 3, and for every attack you use, the corresponding character will receive a single point in their ultimate wars. And once full, you can draw a special card corresponding to the said character's ultimate skill, which is usually devastating and can quickly end battles or cause a variety of different effects. And not only that, cards can also level up in battle. When two cards of the same time land beside each other in your hand, they will automatically combine into the same card of a higher level. And as the card level up, not only will its original effect become stronger, but it can also gain several new effects, significantly improving its functionality. So, the key to win in every situation in 7 Deadly Scenes is to create the teams that have the best distribution of card types. Of that, filled with a ton of powerful attacks, supplemented with buffs for you, the buffs for your enemies, and some stances for good magic. As there are many different types of attacks in the 7 deadly scenes, every character has a different elemental affinity as well. These elements interact with one another with a dynamic of advantage and weakness. Where red beats green, green beats blue and blue beats red. Distribution of different power attacks with different elements is the cornerstone for winning every situation. And it's something you need to always consider when battling the most challenging enemies in 7 Deadly Sins. The combat system in 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross is definitely one of the most unique and complete features of the game. And I'm sure you surely come to love if you are a fan of strategic and engaging gameplay. And luckily, now that you watched this video, you'll be ready to start your journey in this awesome gacha game. And of course, if you want to enjoy this game on the best possible graphics ever, in the big screen with a keyboard and mouse, make sure you're using Bluestacks. But anyway, that's it for now, thank you very much for watching, bye bye!